Hi and welcome to Pictures 3 and 3 with the latest industry news. Let's jump right in. One of the most unstoppable trends for the last few years has been the growth of the smartphone. Well, a new study conducted by the Pew Research Center has documented the phenomenon with some striking statistics. It seems that ownership of the device reached a staggering 68% of U.S. adults this year. That number almost doubles to 35% of adults in the country who owned a smartphone just four years ago. And according to a recent article in Tech Times, the same basic trend can be seen with tablets. The study has a few numbers for that too. 45% of Americans now own a tablet, compared with only 3% in 2010. All in all, it's a report that's bound to boost the confidence of any company with a foothold in the mobile device market. But smartphones and tablets aren't the only devices giving manufacturers cause to celebrate. It looks like Apple has a reason all its own, thanks to one of its signature products, the Mac. As reported on the website Computer World, the number of Mac systems sold in the last year exceeded 20 million for the first time ever. That works out to be 5.7 million sold in the September quarter, the eighth quarter in a row where Mac sales grew. The way Apple management sees it, this surge of popularity probably has something to do with the recently relaunched MacBook. But regardless of the cause, the sales figures point to a bright financial future for the Mac daddy of the consumer electronics industry. And speaking of the future, Microsoft is another industry giant looking ahead in its own way. November 12th will mark a major update to the ever popular Xbox One. Gamers can look forward to a redesigned interface, which will show them a list of games they're playing, friends who are also playing, and other vital information. But that's not all. Starting this month, the Xbox One system will gain the ability to support games from Xbox 360. A new article on CNET.com explains why this backwards compatibility is kind of a big deal in the Xbox world. It means that any new features specific to the Xbox One will also work, eventually, on hundreds of games from the older system. And to bring things fully up to date, it will all be supported by Windows 10. Thanks for joining us for this window into the world of consumer electronics. I'm Patrick Billings, and I hope to see you back next week for another Petra 3 and 3.